is Sasha from NetworkNews.com. Last day at the IFA show. Right now we're in Hall 26 where all the Chinese and Hong Kong manufacturers are. And that's the booth of Lightcom Technologies. They're coming from the Shenzhen area, so southern of Shanghai. And uh, we just bought this little fellow over here, an 8.9 inch netbook that runs on the AMD Geode processor. I think that should be a uh, DX600 because it's running at 500 gigahertz. Um, the battery time should be good for at least some five hours of battery. 8.9 inch display, 1024 by 600, and also comes with an 8 gigabyte SSD. The design itself reminds me a little bit of the first generation of the EPC, means EPC 701 or 700 series. So let's take a quick look around the system itself. Um, we have a Kensington keylock, which is pretty important in these days after we lost our gigabyte. Um, we have a PSU connector, um, the jacks for your microphone and your headset. Pretty much nothing on the front except of the status LEDs. We have a 4-in-1 card reader, two USB 2.0, an Ethernet connector and a VGA out. So let's take a look at the bottom of the system. Um, the battery should be a 4-cell battery. Uh, let's take a look at the capacity. This is, uh, oh no, this is a 3-cell, it's 2,800 milliampere. But the Geode processor doesn't need a lot of power. So uh, the system should be good for at least some five hours. Um, manufacturing quality in general, I mean this is an 8.9 inch uh, system which isn't even using all the space in terms of the keyboard of the system itself. So um, this is the kind of same feedback that I got from my first EPC generation. Pretty small track but also reminds me of this. Um, which is what is good is you have single mouse buttons, separated mouse buttons. They are quite an interesting system, um, something completely new because we haven't seen the Geode platform for quite a while in a netbook. And I'm pretty sure that this device should be, yeah, quite inexpensive. So that's the so-called UPC 801 from Lightcom technology out of the Shenzhen area in China.